What's happening folks, Son of Beast here, and today we are back here for another Stanley Cup Playoffs Tournament as we are about to see the next matchup from the other side. First round of the Eastern Conference matchup is the Boston Bruins facing against the Carolina Hurricanes. As I'm doing something a little different here, I decided to bring someone else here to do a lot much better than has done before in NBA. OJ? Come on in! Welcome to the game of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Thank you very much. Looks like we're doing some NHL matchup here. Yeah, I know, because right now, we want you to be a commentator. Really? Well, if you don't mind, I, I guess I will do that anyway. Well, go for the shot, man. You got the deal. I will do always. And yours too. You'll be on the sideline approaching me, I will do it for yours. So here are the matchups here, as OJ will be the commentator to do it on the ice in the arena. Here we have is Brad Marchand, then we have Patrice Bergeron, and David Prestonox. And on the other side we have a Sebastian Ajo, Jacob Slavin, and Andre Sneshikov. It's a lot of uh, different names, but it's very hard to figure it out what this looks like. And that's right. I'm really sure we're going to do something a little bit di more different here that we like to do things off here before. We like to be commentators in the Eastern Conference and we will switch it over to their commentators for the Western Conference. I think that's a good idea that we can do that thing switching back and forth together. So anyway, it's time to prepare the first game here at the PNC Arena. Let's get going here for the Stanley Cup Playoffs of Game 1. A gorgeous moment here at PNC Arena at Rally, North Carolina, as we have the first game ready for you. It's about ice time, so let's get this thing show on the road to start with the drop. And the Boston Bruins will be taking it, and we are underway here at the PNC Arena. The matchups are currently being as lined. What is your take here? for the Boston Bruins and how well they play. They're playing their accuracy and they have it a lot more to bring things in the game. When they have some better players than the average, they have a lot of moment to take them from here. As you can see, Jacob Slavin and, and the other player, of course, Marchev, he has been playing a lot of games since they have done it the last time here. Back in 2019 Stanley Cup Finals facing against the St. Louis Blues. But now it's their time to shine. We have to see how well they can do to keep it on. Here's Slavin, he has the puck right now. He will be dishing it off to Angelo. Now he will move over to Travinen. On the attack, going inside. And it's saved by Olmark and they will stop the puck here. And with a saving pass on the pad. Since they have started the goal some times here for the other players, what does it have the average here? The average we have talking about before, this is a lot of uh, a lot of good skills at the moment here. Most of the time, I think that's going to be hard. Shurchkov, inside! Save made by Olmark. Olmark's got a great look at the passes out there. He is trying to stop the puck, but that's a great D. Marchand, inside! He scores! And it will be a first goal here for, for the Boston Bruins, as that will be Marchand with two minutes on the goal play. Right now, Boston's in the lead, 1-0 at the start of the first game. We might be seeing what's going on here. Those players are doing really well on the offense. This is how hard they have played. But nothing to say about the most, they have done a lot of better than have. Hall turning around the other way. Here's Hallu. Taking the puck, it's Slavin. Slavin turning the other way. Dish it off, Nikolas. Just off the buck and he will cannot make the pass play. Boston turning around the other way. D'Angelo against Pernox. Pasternox. Looking for Hallu. Tipped away. D'Angelo coming in, inside. All alone, save me by Olmark. Olmark's got another good chance of save here. He's gotten a great pass out there. What a great recovery. Here's another one as the cost just turns this over. 
Dramas inside. Looking all alone. Got the momentum. Slamming outside. Right to Priest with a slap shot. Save made by Omar. Canes restarted from the top. Javas knocked down. And the puck is loose. Pastranox takes it over. Those players on defense could be very hard to try to keep the puck alive, but they already got their chance to take it from here. Turning around is press. Canes back in attack. Two on one. And missed out again. Stall couldn't save it. Back to Priest. All alone to slot. Save me. Fast. Inside alone. Poking away by the ever team. Quill with the puck. Coming in alone. Save me by Anderson. Anderson's got another uh, good, great chance. He's got a great one to take it from here. And Priest inside, and we got a penalty all coming on Boston. And that will be another call. Jake Disbrook has made into the penalty box, and this will be a power play for charging. Charging is not a great thing to take it from here. If you're on a charge, you're going to have to fix things up. Now this will be the first look at the power play for the Canes for two minutes going by in the first period. And a, and a penalty box. And with another switch banging around here, and here comes the attack. Taken away, over. Kotemini up and around the other way. He passed over to Nedra. Taken away by Marchand, and they will clear the puck down the other way. Canes go back in control on the other side. Nakaz knocked down by the other player. And he's taking over. Canes are trying to put the pressure alive. Trying to stop one. And this will be another turn off in the drive. Canes inside with the pass. Knocked away. Didn't help, help it through. Another clearing zone for Boston with 35 to go in the power play. These players can definitely be very interesting though. They have a lot of moment. Inside and alone. Knocked away. Another save made by Omar. Omar, what a play this turned out. That is a lot of huge saving making in the mark. We haven't made the halfway mark yet, but we are passing down under 15 minutes to go. 14 seconds to play in the power play for the Canes. And they won't be able to take the power play goal. And take away, it's a knockoff run. Turn around the other way. Canes, inside alone. Trying to look forward into it. And they are just clearing it out of the way. Those three teams, the Boston Bruins, they're looking for another chance to try to save a comeback. And then it's another save me by Anderson. Puck clears out of his own. Players on him. Trocek turning the other way. Trocek takes a move. Move to Joris. Inside. And it's blocked. And that turns around the other way. Oh, and around the other attack. Goes with the pass, inside, deflects it away. That's a great play on the defense. He's got a lot of work to do, but he really doesn't want to take it coverage. Stick on a slap, another body check here. With five, just about 9.38 to go here for the first period. No score yet for the group for the Carolina Hurricanes, and wow, Frederick got him down quickly, and they are ready to go with the attack. You know you're not going to make it to succeed this time, but if you're going to play on defense, you got to get better at it. Canes knocked him down fast, taking around the airway, and it's another steal that nobody could call for help. Fast, on code, passes up to Frederick. In the slot, and alone, knocked away, couldn't get able to handle the puck. This play has gotten a lot of worse out there. This isn't really able to make the play that easy. Looking Nedrick, 
Nederek trying to look at the puck. Make the back pass, and no man could help him find him. In the Coyote. And he got a penalty up coming on Carolina. That will be a tripping call for Jordan Stahl. Stahl is just not even going to pick up his uh, uh, the right timing, but that is a lot of lot of disrespectful out there, and it doesn't really help him to make it with the attack. And now this will be the first look for the Boston power play with 7.34 to go. They got a lot of them to work it out through and they need to find it the way. Bucks clears it out. They are not giving up yet. And Marchand going around the airway. Steve Bennett, Anderson with the save. Goes around the attack. Players up and around the airway, taken down. He goes to Martial, to Hall. Hall, going inside, it's poked away. Poking away is just a definitely a good idea, but you're not gonna show what's going on. You gotta get fast. Fast, trying to roll around the attack, and he's knocked out. No power play called here for the Carolinas. For the 4 on 4 play. Our man Rush coming in. And save me by Anderson. Anderson has gotten a great move out there. He's doing a lot of work out there. But he needs more to help him make another save. Boston take another win in the, in the uh, ISC faceoff. He scores! Smith with the power play goal. And that's a 2 nothing lead. And right now, Boston Bruins are up ahead by two. And they can over the Canes with a devastation at the first period. But now they might be doing a lot much better than ever. And this will be up in the netting and I'll be out of play. There's a lot of great passing out there for the Boston Bruins. 81 percentage for the, for the Canes, but they're going to need to get back into it. And Boston taking a win in that faceoff. Take another hit, and he saves me by Anderson. Anderson really got a great piece of that one here. That was a really close call, but you, you got to make sure you keep an eye on the player, and you don't want to get him get in the way. Cranes wins the faceoff. Puck clears out. This will turn to be another no icing call here for the Canes. Hall will reach out to Holu. It's poked away. Slavin takes the takes the puck. With the one-on-one -on -one attack, Mark Karyov. Going back the other way. Boston doing another one. He got an upcoming penalty on the Canes. And they are not liking the call. 4.38 to remain here in the first period as Sebastian Ajo will be in a, power, in a penalty box for slashing. Those slashings are not that very good. You don't want to make a mistake out there. And that slashing could definitely be on your power play to give you a kill to knock them out. Only two power plays for, for the Boston Bruins and one power play for the Canes. Save me! Glove save! That's a great play here and off on defense. No save me by Anderson! And he takes a puck around, doesn't able to help him out. Two blocks! Save! Another block on the other one. Riley! Another save me! That's another one for Anderson! Anderson's got a lot of great moves in the hustle. He needs to get there quick. And it will turn around the airway to make the puck clear out. Only 333 to left to go. Deepers alone! Save me by, by Anderson. Anderson really got a great piece of that one. What a play. Two on one. Save off the pad by Uru. Smith in the corner above. Knocks it down! Oh man, the Kings got a piece of it. They got a lot of work out there, and he's just gotten a lot of bit better out there, and they need to go there quick. 
Back on the, coming in full strength. And a power play was over for the Bruins, as this will be another one to take it from here. Hey, that's not. Inside, that's off target. And this goes for another penalty call. They are in trouble. And this one is not going to be good. You are losing the puck out there. You can't just make a great save out there. Now it's Norman and Nikos in the penalty box. And this will be another power play for the Boston Bruins. Carolina fans are not liking the call. In between the 50 and 50 game penalties, it will be almost finished for the power play to be in there of the first period. Kings wins the, wins the faceoff. Fats in and around the attack. Going in, and it's taken away by Hall. Bergeron, and we got another penalty. That is not good for the Kings. They are not having a great season in the first game. Now this will be a five on three attack. Only 11 hits here and 6 hits here in the game. And this one will be going for another one if they have the advantage to take it from here. Another hit here and a save made by Anderson. And knocks it down. Throw the play here. What a stop. And this will going to be an injured man. Oh boy. This is not good. Brad Merchant gets knocked down. And he gets knocked down and he's out. What a play this turned out. Unfortunately, he will not be able to return from the season from the first game. So he has got injured out there. That's a bad play for Boston. Another one for the another win for the uh, for the tip off face off. Boss, blocks blocked, and a shot's been released. Ah, uh, well on him. Paul score. Ah, Bergeron takes the goal, and they're up ahead, 3-0. Taylor Hall and Frederick get the assist. They are underway. They need one more to get the power play in there. Boston Bruins are taking a good look at the strength out there. When your play is coming in with the attack, you are not going to leave it and leave him alone. Carolina Hurricanes clear the puck. And only one, under a minute to go here the first period of the first game. Another hit by Boston Bruins. Bergeron stopping the puck again. This one goes to Nikos. Nikos lost the puck. Try to stop the puck. Nikos up again. Hit's not going to work. And he doesn't go out there. Ten seconds to play in the first period. Take the poke check. There's a hit. And a save made by Anderson. And that will conclude the first period of the game. Score right now is 3 nothing, And we will be right back to take the first intermission of the game. Second period is coming up next after this. OJ here along with Son of Beast. We're ready to make the never play here in the second period. Pucks drop, and we're ready to go. 20 seconds here for the power play, and this will be not be enough here to start with the first game of the, of the night for the Hurricanes with a disappointing effort here. What is your take, and how well could they have got better? They definitely need to get better at that point. Those players could definitely be on the attack by the other defenseman. They have the average to take the shot. Oh, no. well, another great save here for, for the Boston Bruins, and they will hold the puck here. For the face off. Boston with another face off win. Turning around the airway. Making a block. Passing around the wall. The arc. Right to Slavin. To Ago. Ago on the attack breaker. And it's bad pass. Broken up. Taking around the other way, Argo try to save it. Argo in there, save me by Omar. Puck clearing it out for D'Angelo. Slavin inside, takes a slap shot inside. Another save me by Omar. Oh man, that's a great save out there. Omar has gotten a piece of that one, and they really got a great force out there. 
And our power play is called by Carolina Canes. That will be a tripping call here at Oppo the second time. And now another play is going to be on the Boston Bruins with the power play. David Prostranox has gotten a lot of great plays out there for his facing off a winning career of his game. Back in NHL season from 2021, he has a lot of great average out there to take him on the second time of the game. His play cannot be determined if he can try to face it off after to be in the Atlantic Coast Division. In this attack, inside, he scores! And the Canes answers the right around the way. Brett Pets takes the first goal and they're up by to take the two. What a play with the save. If you've seen the pad going in there, that's how this goal comes in there. With Carolina on a shocking disappointment first period, they're now on the board. It's 3-1. Boston taking another win. Smith, uh, Slavin. Hall. Saved by Anderson. And it's taken off. Cole takes it back around and goes with that. Give me the puck down. Cole is just doing really well here on defense. He wasn't able to try to pick up his pace out there. But he really got into it. So he gets to try a lot better than he has. Terrawin. Another blocking with the path here. And they will have to clear the puck around. Marcherov still there. Smith has Bergeron, our man rush, they score! And that's a four point game here as Pat Patrice Bergeron takes the second goal of the game. And right now they are leading up by three. Those players are a lot of high rankings out there. They're overrating the players underneath the Carolina's first seed of the game. But that is not going to help. You're going to need to get better at it if you want to take it from here. Anderson with the, with the pad save. Another one coming down. Step. Stall. Sergerov. Right to press. Right to Turbain. They will clear the puck around to go back turning the other way in again. Pass. Slap shot. Off the pad by Omar. Turbain. Sorry by Omar. Moving the puck quickly for the Canes, and they are trying to make them free. Shot shot, tipped in, it's in there! And Press gets the goal! That flaking black shots here, that goes off the pad. But what happened there? Well, the puck went in there and it tipped right in there. That was a huge saving point in the mark. You couldn't save it at the point, but he was trying to give up already, not trying to go out to quick here. Slavin, bad pass here, and this will be a DeBrusque with the takeaway. DeBrusque go around the airway, 14.35 remaining in the second period. Stahl goes back that way, and he will put it up around by Stahl to D'Angelo. D'Angelo on the attack, finds Stahl, it's off and taken away, fast, Slavin, D'Angelo, slap shot, save me, and off the pad by Olmark. Olmark has gotten a really good into the, uh, into the game, but that is going to be a very tough call if this play is going to be a roughing on the Boston Bruins. Save again, and another miss fires off the target. Nagarek. Trying to, trying to keep it loose. DeBrus almost coming there loose. Boston on the attack. Takes away by, by Trochevin. And Trochek going in there. Inside. Oh, it saved me again. That's Allmark with another pad save. Allmark, he really got showing up. He's all gotten a great plays out there. That's his, that's his tough goal on his game. The Canes wins the faceoff. All over a huge fire off the target. Off the pad it goes. Presk slaps again, and it's another pad save by by uh, by Omar. Smith takes the puck away. 
Frederick on the attack, going back the airways, Riley. McAvoy to Coil. The Carolina Hurricanes are turning around the airway to make the number of huge attackers. He finds the cause. That goes to Trocek. Trocek fires and he saved. Almost went in the net, but it hold on for Omar to make the save. One of the best plays here that we are talking about here is the time attack here for those two guys. Four and first seed. They've gotten into a great tough matchups here since they didn't want to take the risk here to take around the ever lane. But when the player goes right in there, they got a great attack. They really wanted to keep it loose. On the attack. Odd man rush here. Oh my. Oh, he's off the post. He couldn't save it back. Wow. That was a tough one to make the call out of here. And that would have been a great, great chance to take the 4 3 game. Right now it's stopped. Halu up again. Stack it over here. It's Coil drops him down. Finds Piss. And another one taken over by Pasha Knox. Saved me by Anderson. Ago trying to take it around the puck and try to turn it over. And another penalty going up, and that'll be again on Carolina. Most Carolina fans are not going to help them keep the, keep the pressure alive. If you got a man on cover, you're going to be on tad late if you keep it up here, if you're not going to try to keep the man up here alive. Another power play is given up here for the Canes, as this will be now the fourth time in a row to keep it in there alive. McAvoy will have the puck. Good save by Anderson. And the players are turning away with a smash. Elon off the stick and off the skate blade. Oh, what an attacker here. No penalty are coming for the Boston Bruins as this will be another clean look on defense. Bergeron in a hurry. Odd man rush. Two on one. It's broken up. Bear with they going around the airway as Saul will have the puck. He will try to clear the puck around here and this will be another one to take the attack. Oh, inside. He goes up his head. And a big hit. And then off the puck it goes on Anderson. Anderson really got into it. That's a great help here on defense. They're going to try to need to keep it going here as they can. Now he finds D'Angelo as we're approaching down to eight minutes here in the second period. It's 4-2 score. Turn on with a slap shot. It doesn't carry out. Another takeaway by Boston. And almost took it around and that will be the end of the power play. And we got another goal. Smith taking two goals in a row and now extend the lead by three. Smith's got a really well play out there. When his player pink up the offense, they couldn't save the power play, but they really got back into it. That's a great help. Another Boston win with a faceoff. And right at this moment, here's D'Angelo. He will take it off from here. Slavin. Right to Trocek. Trocek in alone. Bad pass here. This will be another restart. D'Angelo finds the puck. Off the stick it goes. That's a one, one lucky shot here. But that would have been another huge disappointment if they were going to try to take another win. Bergeron on the attack. And another takeaway by the Canes. Knocked down. D'Angelo has it covered. And another bad pass here. Another turnover. Boston still up ahead. They're trying to find another way to get right around it. Body check him. And they still need to keep him alive. Anderson. Pat save B. And that will hold the clock up with 548 remaining. Those place off wins can definitely be the only time attack that they will tell. Other times they better not be able to take it from the other lane. They have to take it from here. What a big hit by Martyroff. Bad pass here. Cole still has it around. 
They will try to back it up here as they will have to restart it being, before being pulled offside. Carolina trailing by three. Here comes the attack with the shot. It's blocked. Cool, right over to Bear. Bear in alone. Shots in there. Can't save him back. And another pass saved by Omar. Omar really has a lot of advantage. He needs it a lot. Inside. Save me. Find the puck back and he doesn't carry out. Oh, man. We got a great play. This turned out. That would be another pass saved me for Boston. And they're trying to work their way around. Carlos, in alone, shot is wide. Press, right to, to, to Ski. Ski, lost the puck. Carolina Kings, moving the puck quickly. Trying to win, all alone, score! Trying to win, making a goal, and they're up again to try to pace the attack. Taravanian with another pad look here, turn around with the wrap, and that will do it for the goal. As he had picking up another one, and there you have that one. That was the best play they had. The Canes trail by two, and we're getting close to the end of the mark in the second period. They are trying to look fast. Scared of cough, right to see. Pest, right down the lane, save me by Omar with the slap shot. Right to the chest, they will stop the play here at 2.49 left. Carolina Canes are definitely in the first seed. They are always smacking on the run, but if we see the Rangers playing against the other team of, of the Canes, we would be happy to see if they could try to work their way around. She, that saved me by Omar. Shostakov couldn't be able to save it back. Lamar, able to attack the run, and it will turn around the other way. Bad Buck here. Turn the Ski, with two minutes to play in the second period. Ski has it back, D'Angelo, with the slap, off target here, and it goes wide. And with Carlo saving the puck around. Boston back in the other transition out there. As, as Slavin will take the steal. Aho with the admin runs. He scores! Aho with the fast break with the admin runs and they're coming in by one. Sebastian Aho, look at his pace here. When you see that play, this happens to be just like that. And that was the best save ever for Aho to get back in here. No time remaining here for the second, as this will almost close here for the second period. D'Angelo back on the other way, and they are trying to pick up the pace. And a bad pass. That will turn around the airway to start all over again from the top. Nakas with that taking away over again. And that will be Carlo turning around the other way for the Boston attack. A German! Oh, he got a piece of that one. He could have taken one, but it was knocked away. Slavin trying to help him here. Trocek. Pass to D'Angelo. Right to Trocek. Check. Shucks it, and it's a save beat by Omar. And the buzz horn sound as the second period is over. It's not a one gold game. And they're trying to pick up the pace for Carolina Canes. Will they win the first game? Or will Boston win it all for the first? Be right back after this. We are underway right now. Third period. It's time to finish up here for the third game ever. I think this is a definitely a best play. We, we need to call that. That is a lot of great matchup in between the Atlantic and Metropolitan. We're not sure what's going to happen here if there's another change up here if they're going to try to face up with the win. The Angel right to Shestikov and they will turn around the airway. He's got some incredible move. He's going in. Oh, he was late. And that's another save made by Omar. The Angel inside. Shot blocked. And they will have to reinforce to change it to, to turn around the airway. 
Aho with the puck. Fires around the wall to Shnestikov. Shnestikov, right to D'Angelo. D'Angelo, blocked away, and that's Omar with the save. Aho, save me! Off the pad it goes. Omar has gotten a really better plays out there. You're not going to save him if you're going to try to keep the firing target in the lane. Slavin, with the shot, saved me by Omar. Slavin again. Finds Sarostikov, chop block, Aho, he saves again for Omar. And they are stopping the puck here at 17.45 remaining. They've got a lot of great hustle up there. With a lot of work, they really have to try to fix it the other way. Boston wins the tip off, and Netcos turns it over. Riley up in the other lane. Finds Hall. Try to work around. Anderson with the save. And that cause will turn around then with the bad pass. They are looking to turn things over. Stahl couldn't save the puck. Riley has it covered. McAvoy. Trying to avoid the offside as DeBrusk with a with a chance. The Canes go back in the other way with just 16 30 to play in the third period. McAvoy with the puck. Riley trying to hold on here. Sick lifted. Turns around the airway. With the 2 on 1 attack. Natures right to D'Angelo. D'Angelo right to the director. And that bad force that broke it up. For another one for the Canes. He gets in there. He scores. And they are back up by two. Matt Grizzlick with the glove out the moment. And the Boston Bruins are leading ahead by two. They really got to pack up here. They really got to pack it up. And they might be ready for the third game. This is what happens to most players all of a sudden. But this should not be happening right to the Forceman Drive. This reinforces the other way as the cause turns around the other way. With two on one, Jarvis. Bad pass. Skrzewski turns around the other way. Bass to Coyle. The Boston Bruins are turning around with the pass pace skills to face around the other attack. Finds Jarvis. Jarvis. Right to that cost. Reinforcing, and they will have to try again from the top. Those plays cannot be successful. They really gotta. They really gotta start moving right now. If you don't have a chance to get right through it, and you need to get there quick. Knocks down. Carlo with that pat save here again for Anderson, and they're turning around the other way as Bear has it. Trocheck turning it the other way. Trocheck right to Sesikov. Right to Bear, slug shot, save me by Omar. But the proper round, another save. Those plays are definitely on the higher mark. Omar had gotten a great play out there. They really got to keep it going. Inside, Omar stops the puck, and they are trying to pay full to tap that down. Only 22 faceoff wins here for the Boston Bruins and for the Canes. They have 11 face-off wins here for the night. They've got a lot of great face-off here for the win in here, OJ. A lot of play, a lot of hustle work. They really got to need to keep an eye on the defenders with the man-to-man. -man. Riley on the attack. Finds McAvoy. Slap shot. Save me by Anderson. 11.40 to remain here in the third period. Riley, inside! Save me by Anderson! And he will stop the puck at 11.41. Great hustling work here for Anderson. They're trying to keep him alive. They don't want to make the NHL contract him on the other end. Boston winning the tip off. Oh man, big kick! Hall. Oh. Anderson with the, with the knockoff. And the Canes have it around the attack. It's a breakaway! 
Boston Bruins turning around the other way as this will goes around for another look at the pass to go around that way. Big hit! Looks like they got to start working here. No power plays yet for the Kings. No set. And it's blocked by Cole. What a save me for the Hurricanes to stop by. They really got a great look here. They got it all on. You don't want to go right near that far. Anderson holds the puck as this will be under 10 minutes to play here in the third period. Guys, a moment of this game has turned out an outstandable run here so far. Those plays could definitely very be on the heavy traffic. I think this is definitely a very hard to go from by. I was always agreeing with you. This is a lot of work of a dedication out there, but they really need to take it off. McAvoy turning around the other way. He finds Nosek. Bad pass here as Kokonami off by the attack. He gets a chance! And he's knocked down and he is trying to clear the puck around. Caught them again. Finds D'Angelo. D'Angelo with the puck. Slam it right back to D'Angelo. With the puck. In the long. Lawrence. And it's off the lane and he goes out and out of the way. Slam it. Six save, and that's another mark for Omar. Omar has got a great piece of it, uh, a lot of work. His moment is turning out to be an incredible performance run in the first game. But I think the second game could be helping out a little bit more better. The Kings trail by two. Marjana, look inside! And it's the bad pass as they've broken up. Without Brad, they are under eight minutes to play. Heavy on the control. Barty checked in by D'Angelo. Turns around the airway, Slavin Avo with the puck. He's alone. Save made by Omar. And another save. Oh, wow. That's a great play on that one. That's a nice, huge game. And he turns around the other way. Another save made by Omar. And they will have to stop the play here at 627 left. We are almost approaching the end of a third period with 627 to remain. Here with the highest skill with the win here for the Canes of the faceoff. Faceoff back in there, didn't able to take a chance. And yes, those players are not going to be able to keep an eye on them. If you're going to keep it on, on with him, you got to go. Canes right finding the Slavin, and it will have the reinforce attack. Pass here by Sergi. Sergi up! Good save by Omar. And he will stop the play at 525. He's on, he's on a great attack. He's not looking for a pass here, but they really got a lot of work to do. Keynes wins the tip, Dre face off, and he's knocked down. Oh, what a great play here by Smith. That's a lot of help here on defense, and that's a great big smackdown. I man rush, here we go! Score! Jarvis takes the goal, and they're coming back in by one. With this play attack, this is a lot of work out there with the odd man rush, and there's the wrist shot, but he turned around right in the lane. What a play here for another man to be on here. The Canes are trailing by one, and they are looking to reinforce to tie the game up with a next calling timeout. Frederick past the coil. Try to hold the puck here. Pass saved by Anderson. Anderson's got a little work out here. He might be showing off the attack. And it's carried out. 4-10 to remain here in the third period. Now it will be Frederick. On the move. And it's knocked and reinforced out of the way. Ago with the puck. He passes the wall up to Nakaz. Goes down. Ago with the puck. Slavin. D'Angelo. 
shoots, blocked away, another save by Olmark. Olmark's got a great look out there, and he's got a great use. Slavin, and along, Shkosikov sets off the bark, and it's another huge turnover here on the Carolina. Bergeron, Yoling the puck, Smith, right on the other lane. Slavin up ahead. That's poked away. D'Angelo going down. Bad pass here. And another save made by Anderson. Hall takes it over. He alone. Oh, it's knocked away. He couldn't save the puck. And he couldn't get it back. And that's called an icing on Carolina. And we will have a timeout when we come back. This game is currently getting typed in here as a minute and 40 to play. Canes wins the tip tray face off. And they will pull the goalie away and they are underway to type it on. They direct it right in there. Pass the puck. Slavin up in attack. Going in. Saved by Omar. Oh man, Omar is on fire right now. He has a lot of moment to make this pressure debut for the first game. Ago still trying to look around, look the players with under one minute to go, and this one starts now. Kane wins the tip off. Pass to off the books. Sesikov to Turan. Ago with the puck. Knocking away, Turan. Right to press. Inside, alone, fires off the press, inside, and he doesn't take it. Knocks away, 30 seconds to play for the third period. Taking the puck, inside, knocks down, hold it tight, and a bad pass again, broken up. And he's all alone. Knocks him down, I'll never play here. Here he comes, will they tie it? Turbine, knocked away. And Jarvis, will he take it? No, and he said no, and the first game winner goes to the Bruins. Six to five is your final score in the first game. Boston leads the series 1-0. What a play here, there, OJ, Mark, and the rest of the team are definitely playing really well without Brad, as he was definitely on the injury list, but they knew it. They had it all covered out. So that is it for the first game of the Stanley Cup playoffs in the Eastern Conference. The next game will be happening here in the Western Conference, as they will have the commentators to be back on here, and they will try to make their force run to have another angle. Your next game will be will be on its way as we take a look of the Toronto Maple Leafs and Florida Panthers but will be another one. Here are the three stars of the players of the game. Patrice Bergeron, two goals, one assist and two hits. And with the tape to tape, a lot of play out there, but they have a lot more to get. The second star goes to Craig Smith, two goals, one hit, three hits and one assist. A lot of plays out there, but he had a back in there to try to go around the goalie. And the first star goes out to all with the pressure, Brett Press. Two goals, one assist, and one hit. So that's the end for the game. OJ is already finished up here for the commentators here for tonight, and along with Son of Beasts. Peace out, everyone, for us a while as the NHL 22 dial and the Stanley Cup playoff tournament dial. Your next game will be happening here as this will be another reinforcement to try to work their things around as we have the Dallas Stars facing on against the Colorado Avalanche on the other side. Then, back in the other hand, we have another teammate coming back in there. It will be the Predators to face on against the LA Kings on the other end. We will see how well they play here in this coverage to take it from here. Then, coming back to the Atlantic, it will be Florida versus the Capitals in Florida of Arena. 
end, we will see the two on three C matchups as the Rangers will take on against Pittsburgh Penguins. Another rival matchup here in between Pennsylvania and New York. And as for being said, I'm your host OJ. So long here at Carolina, North Carolina, from Rally of the Canes.